Hi guys, welcome to lesson 5 of my strumming guitar course. Here we're adding accents to the 8th all down strumming that we learnt in lesson 2. This will make it sound a lot more interesting and give you strumming a little bit of subtlety to make it sound really good. It's appropriate for slower songs and the songs from the beginners course online which is already filmed uh, include Yellow, Hey Jude and Sweet Home Alabama as it says on your strumming family tree guide um, which you'll want to definitely download or be looking at as you're taking on this lesson. So this strumming lesson is around level 5 of my beginners course so I'm going to be using a G major chord. I'm going for the four fingered way of playing a G and with the accent we want to play beats 2 and 4 louder than the others. The top tip here to make it sound as natural as possible is make the other ones sound quieter therefore and we can tell that it's two and four that need to be louder from the little arrow symbol above two and four which is the accent itself that's how it's written so this should sound like to account one and two and three and four and Uh, the best song example of this is certainly Yellow, um, to, the intro of Yellow to try and get your head around what it should sound like. Let's have a go at this together for two bars first of all. In one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two, three and four and. Hopefully that was something you were able to do, but I'm going to loop that in a second. As I say, top tips, take your foot off the gas pedal in terms of kind of the aggressive strumming you might have done in the past and go a little bit softer, only being aggressive on the two and the four and angling your pick so you can hit or angling the arm so that you're only hitting the thicker strings, the bronzy ones in my case, on one and and all the other ones that aren't the accent. One and two, thicker strings, everything. Thicker strings, everything. Gives a real subtlety to your strumming, which if you haven't gone for before, will really make everything sound a lot more professional. Let's try and go for it together. In one and two and three and four and. I'm just gonna keep looping this. I'll keep the count going every now and again if you drop out. Just try and drop back in any time you can. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two. stop there. So that is adding an accent to the eight fall down strumming that we've done which is appropriate for any slower tempoed songs. Those song examples are Yellow, Hey Jude, Sweet Home Alabama, all from level around level five of my beginners course. You could also go for Can't Always Get What You Want as well though there's a little bit more in that one. Um, if you so wish you could now go straight on to lesson or strumming pattern eight where we'll be adding an upstroke to this one. So this would be one and two and a. So if you wish, you could continue on to that lesson, but if you're doing the beginner's course, then you're a beginner, this is the first time you've ever done it, do a song example with this strumming pattern first, and then move on to strumming lesson six, where we'll be covering downs and ups strumming and missing out some strums.